What's up guys? We got a Cyrax double feature today. He uploaded two new videos. So let's check it out. First one is the end draws near for you trolls. You know, I was thinking about it here after my live stream a couple hours ago that I did over on Kick. I was thinking about it. And I finally figured out why you motherfucking trolls drive every girl that I get with away. Because you're a sex pest? It's because you motherfuckers are jealous. You're jealous that the weird guy can actually get somebody that's honest and actually is there. Who actually has a brain and isn't stupid. Oh, I can guarantee you that's not the reason. You know the only reason why half the chicks fucking left me is because of you guys? Half these people that left me that I was with was because of you dumb fucks. That's why. But that's okay. Cause you know what's funny? One day the right one's gonna come along. And when they do, you guys ain't gonna be able to do shit to stop it. Because what you trolls don't seem to realize is that here in the coming months, is going to be beginning your downfall. The troll community is done. The troll community is its going to be ending soon. And you guys have to accept that. CBG, Marty, William, Metal Gear Rax, Fed Smoker, all you motherfuckers are going to be done. Your world is going to come crumbling down. Okay, I don't know who's feeding you bullshit again, but you're never going to be able to stop the fact that, like, the entire world hates you. That's just not going to happen. And you know what I'm going to do when, with the pieces of your world when it comes crumbling down? You know what I'm going to do with all those pieces? I'm going to rebuild my life back to the way that it was before you guys came in and started fucking it all up. I'm going to take all the pieces of your guys' crumble down world. I'm going to take those pieces, reforge them, reform them, reshape them, and rebuild my life back to the way that I once was. Back when I had an amazing girlfriend. Back when I had a good job doing what I love to do. And I was taking care of my family. I was keeping my nose clean. I was staying on the right track. Your life is falling apart right now. I don't know why you think you're going to get back to being like on top. But you need to like work on not going to jail right now. I mean if you don't believe me. Take a look at your guys' comments in my last few videos. You guys are pissed. You guys are angry. You guys are fucking mad. And you know what? I don't care if you're mad. Because all I see when I look at you trolls is nothing more than a pathetic ass, bullshit ass, fucking band of criminals. That's all I see. You know, you're ranting here about trolls and how they're all criminals is exactly like Chris Chan used to do. That doesn't have anything to do with anything, but I thought I'd point that out. A bunch of criminals trying to make a name for themselves off the backs of ruining other people's lives. And that's all you guys do, you ruin people's lives. I mean, you damn near ruined my whole ass career. Thankfully, that, that didn't work. I still have something that I can grab onto and rebuild off of. 
And I will admit, you guys did do a lot of damage to me. You guys did. You guys did quite a bit of damage to me mentally over the years. You guys did physically do damage to me over the years. But you want to know something? There's one thing you guys have not done and that you will never do, and that's break me. You've been on stream completely broken so many times. I mean, like, you're usually pretty broken, but, like, you've been completely broken so many times. You guys have tried countless times to completely wipe me off the face of the earth. Tried to cancel me. Tried to wipe me out like a bad old statue waiting to be torn down. But yet, you guys just can't seem to do it. It's like I told you, you can't beat me. You're never going to win against me. And you know what's sad? What's really sad is you trolls having to resort to what you guys resort to. In order to make money. I mean, I understand. Everybody's got to hustle. Everybody's got to grind. I get it. Do you? Because you don't. Remember the part where you make no money ever? But going around bullying people ain't the way to fucking do it. Going around and extorting people like you did to me, Marty. Like you did to me, William. Y'all motherfuckers said they're blackmailing people. That ain't the way to do it. You know what's sad, Marty? At one point... There was one point where I thought you were a good dude. There really was. There was one point in particular where I thought you were a good dude. But then you showed your true colors and showed that you're not a good person. You're a piece of shit. You're a psycho. You're a murderer. You're a bully. You're a slob. You're a piece of shit. You know, everything you just said applies to you. And I'm not going to say whether Marty is or is not those things. But what he is, is funny as hell when he's fucking with you. So, he's got that going for him. And Marty, you're just like all the other trolls. A dumb, fat, overweight piece of shit slob on his way to nowhere fast. And speaking on you other trolls, you know what's funny? The fact that you guys think that I'm not going to win over all this shit. Y'all think that I'm not going to come out on top. But the truth is, I am. I am going to come out on top. And when I do, and I plant that flag in the top of that mountain, and I'm standing on top where I should have been this whole time, it's going to be so fucking sweet. And you want to know why? Because when I'm on top of that mountain, and I'm looking down at you motherfuckers that have tore me down, all I'm going to see is a bunch of little baby ant looking motherfuckers Trying to climb that same mountain that I'm climbing and just falling back down again. Falling back down again over and over and over. While I'm up here with my gear, sitting up here, kicking it, enjoying my life. Living my best life. Being there for those that need me. Being, you know, hopefully one day soon, you know... A good boyfriend and husband is somebody that wants to be with me. Being a good son, being a good brother, being a nephew, being a good friend. My dude, you are never going to have a family. You can't even support yourself. Why the fuck would any woman want to get together with you and develop a life fucking living in your grandma's attic begging for money on kick? Is that what you think your big life plan is going to be? See, why you guys sit here and let greed control you? While you guys let greed and anger control you? 
I let righteousness, justice, my heart, caring, kindness, understanding, and doing what's right guide my heart. No, that's not it. Because you're the most selfish, self-involved, egotistic me monster that's ever existed. Because if you were any of those things, you wouldn't be doing exactly what you're doing right now. That's what I feed off of. I feed off of good energy and good vibes and good times. You guys feed off of bottom feeding scum ass garbage. Because that's all you trolls are. Every one of you guys is garbage. Every last one of you is trash. There's nothing funny about bullying somebody. There's nothing funny about extorting someone. There's nothing funny about blackmailing someone. There's nothing funny about assaulting or trying to murder someone. There's nothing funny about that. If anything, it's disgusting. And trust me when I say, when YouTube finds out about what you guys have done, fuck that. When the police and the feds and the higher ups above the feds find out what you've done, you guys are going to be in a world hurt, because believe me, here soon, here soon, they will know. And when they do, it's going to be game over for you. Because people like you guys have no place on here. People that bully others, that extort others, that harass, attack, blackmail, slander, physically attack, try to murder, and have selfish need and greed going through their head. People like that don't have a place on this platform. Yeah, that's why you got banned so many times. I mean, it's funny, you guys sit there and say that I belong behind bars, right? In actuality, you fucking trolls are the ones that belong behind bars, not me. I mean, look at you, Marty. You're what, almost 40? And you're still acting like a fucking kid. And CVG, like I told you, dumb fuck, you ain't untouchable. No one's untouchable. You think that being touched like means physically going up and touching right or wrong. Like I said, my boy Sneaky Jim and his team. They're coming after you guys. And when they do... You guys had better be ready. Because what you guys are doing is wrong. And it's fucked up. Because trust me when I say. When my boy Sneaky Jim comes after you guys. And your guys' whole world comes crumbling down. You guys ain't going to have no one to blame. But your fucking selves. Cyrax. I mean I have to say it. You've done this before. And it doesn't work any time. This never works when a low cow thinks they're going to take down the trolls. It's just another troll fucking with them. I mean, you got somebody like me who is over here doing artwork, doing music, doing game development, was doing streaming, and was minding my own business and making money, doing my, you know, my job, my actual job that I had, Unlike you guys, not that you guys would know what work is. Because half you motherfuckers don't even work. You're lazy as fuck. 
Hell, I'm honestly surprised that half you motherfuckers made it past goddamn kindergarten, to be honest with you. Coming from the man who took nine years to fail out of high school. That just hurts so badly, Cyrax. But while I was over here working my ass off, what'd you guys decide to do? Kick me out because y'all thought I was an easy target? And you're right, at first I may have been an easy target at first. But not no more. Because see, the battle that's going on right now between me and all you trolls, and all you bullies, and all you criminal scum, you know what this battle is? It's like me being a Spartan, being a Spartan warrior, and you guys being the Persian people that got slaughtered. This is like Sparta versus Persians. You ain't winning against me. The Spartans all died and lost to the Persians in the end. That I don't think you watched. I don't think you know history. At all. This is like me being a U.S. Marine and you dumb motherfuckers being the damn Taliban. You ain't winning. The Taliban is currently in control of Afghanistan. Because, yeah, sure, you guys may have your weapons or whatever. But you ain't got shit on me, I'll tell you that right now. Because every move I've been making since yesterday has been carefully calculated and planned accordingly and appropriately to each and every situation. So like I said, you don't fuck Persian pussies are fucking with a Spartan. And if I were you, I'd turn tail and run before you guys catch a spear to the dome. I'm just saying. You guys have no chance against my Spartan team and me. None. I'd start running. Alright, awesome. That was just, that was an amazing video. Uh, I guess let's just push on. You know, we can do this. Only another 10 minute video left. Sneaky Jim has my full support. So let's check it out. Alright, this video is picking back up off the last video. Now, you know what's sad about you, Marty? You claim to be the king of Akron. But we all know nothing you ever done has been done out of the kindness and the goodness of your heart. Everything's been about greed with you. Every single thing you've ever done has been about greed. You know, when... When all this started... Really? It's this fucking type of video? Ugh. All right, let's keep going. When all this started, I didn't know what to make of it, but now I do. Now let me tell you something. When my best friend and little brother Zach was shot and killed, and I promised his family, who is family to me, when I promised his family that I would continue on his legacy and uphold the lessons that he taught me and the things that he left behind for me to carry on and for his family to carry on, when I made that promise to Zach when he was killed, when I made that promise to carry on his legacy, I meant it. It has been confirmed that you were not friends with this dude and you're shitting on his legacy every time you pretend to be his friend knowing full well you were not.
when I made a vow to carry on my older brother Bill's legacy when he passed, I meant it. When Paul Walker passed away, the man responsible for car culture in general, one of the most important people in the car culture community. When he died, I made a vow to continue on his legacy. Dude, who the fuck cares? Paul Walker didn't know you and you still cannot drive. Not in real life and not in video games. And I've done all those things. I've carried on their legacies. Why do you think I rocked the number 23 on all my fucking cars? Why do you think I rocked all of Paul Walker's cars through the Forza series? It's one thing that you need to understand, Marty, and what you trolls need to realize is this. When it comes down to racing, it don't matter whether it's in real life or on a sim rig. Racing is racing. It doesn't matter how many times you say that, it is patently untrue. It will never be true, you're just playing video games and want people to take you seriously, but they do not. You guys do it to try to, you know, be greedy scumbags. I do it to carry on a legacy. I do it because it's what I'm passionate about. I do it because it's what I love. No, you do it because you like to play video games and you want to see if you can try and make money off of doing that because you're lazy and all you do is play video games. Racing's in my blood, okay? My older brother got me into that culture. My older brother introduced me into that life. And I'm proud that he did. Because some of my best friends and some of them are some of the most amazing teammates I could ever have in the world were introduced to me through the car culture. Through games like Need for Speed, Forza, and all these other titles. And I'll tell you right now, I have some of the best teammates in the fucking world. I'm sorry, I just glanced at the title again. What the hell does this have to do with Sneaky Jim? I couldn't ask for a better team. I couldn't ask for better friends than Devin and my boy Sonder or any of our fucking team members. I couldn't ask for a, a better group of brothers or friends, period. Straight up. But not that you would know what that's like, Marty. I mean, every time you go against me, you lose. Every time you go against me in a race, you lose. And all you tried to do when you did that shit, you weren't trying to do it to be a good sport. You were trying to do it to prove that you were a king of Akron. But really, you don't have the traits of a king. The trades of a true king is not something you possess. Because a true king, a true man, doesn't go around bullying people, harassing people, attacking people, slandering people, assaulting people, trying to kill people, murdering three innocent women. A real man doesn't do that. A real man does what he can to take care of his family, utilizing whatever he has around him. And that's exactly what I've done. Until you ripped it away from me. Man, you're really sore about that $112. I mean, that was a few years ago at this point. You're really, really sore about it. And that's the difference between me and you, Marty. I'm willing to do whatever I need to do 
to make a living for my family and to get my career back and to fight for my loved ones. But you, you just want to sit on your ass and watch time fly. You don't care about anyone. All you care about is money. Because you're a greedy, fat, old piece of shit. That's all you are. You're an internet bully who's greedy. Who gets his cheap kicks and laughs off of bullying people and extorting and blackmailing motherfuckers. Let me tell you right now, fat ass. All that shit is going to come to a head here real soon. And it's going to stop. So Marty, my advice to you, stand down, stand aside, or me and my team comprised of Sneaky Jim and all his boys, are just going to run right over you. Take your pick. Okay, there's where we get to Sneaky Jim, old Sneaky Jim. Honestly, if I were you, I'd run. I really would. I would run. Because these guys, they're the no fucking around motherfuckers. They're the no fucking around people. And they've made it very clear that they will stop at nothing to put an end to what you guys are doing to people. And they have my support. Anything they need, I will do for them. I would do for them just like they would do for me. What they would do for me is the same shit that I would do for them. That I would do for my boy Devin, that I would do for my boy Sondra, or any of my friends and family. Any of my friends and family. The same shit I would do for my friends and family is the same thing that I would do for them. Whatever they need, I got their back. Because unlike you, Marty, and all you other trolls out there, these people have showed me something that none of you ever had. Which is kindness, compassion, understanding. A sense of what's right and wrong. So do yourself a favor, Marty. And fuck off. Because like I said. My team's coming. And we're going to stop all you motherfuckers from doing this to anyone else ever again. So be warned. It's game on. Alright, awesome. Thank you for that, Cyrax. That was just... That was really long. If you think that's long to watch, think about how long it fucking takes to make these fucking things. But I appreciate you watching, guys. And have a great day.